What's up, NFL fans? Welcome back to the channel, Revis Talk Sports. I am back again with my weekly NFL spread picks video. If you've been new to the channel, I create weekly money line and spread pick videos. And for those who've been following the channel, we got both of our teaser parlays correct and got over 50% of spreads correct last week. So let's keep the momentum going until week 11. First game, Green Bay Packers versus Chicago Bears. Right now, the line is at five and a half. Throughout the week, it's been going back and forth between six, five and a half, and five. And it keeps going up and down. I think there's a lot of momentum on the bear side, especially since they've been covering a lot at home. They won a lot at home besides the loss to the New England Patriots. This is a divisional game. And typically, I believe that a lot of dogs in divisional games this season have been covering. The last 10 games between these two who have, that have met, the Packers have covered in 10 straight games. Both teams are being hit with the injury bug. I think this might be a close game. I don't know if I feel comfortable choosing the Packers at minus five and a half, especially with how Jordan Love has been playing against divisional teams. He's four touchdowns, four interceptions. I think this is a Josh Jacobs kind of game against his Bears subpar run defense. But at some point, obviously, Jordan Love's going to have to throw the ball. He's been a little bit rocky this season. I don't know if I like the minus five and a half. This is going to be a part of one of the teaser parlays I will have for this video. Green Bay Packers, we are taking it from five and a half down to minus two and a half. So instead of taking minus five and a half as favorites, I'm going to alternate spread it and get it under a field goal. I do think the Packers team will win this game outright. I feel more comfortable in this divisional matchup taking the Packers under a field goal than I do with them close to two field goals to win. So give me the Packers minus two and a half. Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Detroit Lions. The line is near two touchdowns. The Lions have been one of the hottest teams in the NFL, and they also cover the spread a lot at home, and they're dominant at home. I do not like laying double-digit spreads. I'm going to make an exception for this game. Give me the Detroit Lions minus 13 and a half. The Jaguars have been sneaky covering the spread, but the Lions are at home. They're very dominant at home, and they cover the spread like crazy at home. Giving the Detroit Lions to beat the Jaguars by at least two touchdowns. And even if the Jaguars are up by two touchdowns at half point, the Lions will still come back and win by two touchdowns probably. So give me the Detroit Lions minus 13 and a half. Baltimore Ravens versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Right now, the line is at three and a half. It did start the week at three. Just popped up to three and a hook. The Pittsburgh Steelers are underdogs. Under Mike Tomlin, they have a very great record against the spread as underdogs. The Baltimore Ravens have been going, you know, toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Steelers the past few years, and they've been they have not been successful the past few meetings. But I like the Pittsburgh Steelers at plus three and a half. I do think that the Steelers team can win this game outright. The Ravens' pass defense wasn't able to stop Joe Burrow. They weren't able to stop Jameis Winston. And then you have Russell Wilson that's on the field with the Steelers. I think they have a puncher's chance to win this game outright. If not, have it be a very close game. Give me the Pittsburgh Steelers at plus three and a half. I do think that I do like them being at home underdogs, and I do like that plus three and a half spread at home against the Ravens. Minnesota Vikings versus the Tennessee Titans. The Minnesota Vikings are six-point favorites in this game. I did not like how Sam Darnold looked last week, but I do think the Vikings should beat this Titans team by at least a touchdown. Give me the Minnesota Vikings at minus six. I do like the Vikings in this spot. I think they could bounce back and use this game as a bounce-back game against the Titans. That kind of seems a bit defeated. Yes, their defense is quite good this year, but I don't see this Titans offense going tit for tat with the Vikings offense. So I do like the Vikings to win by at least six points or more. So give me the minutes for the Vikings minus six. Las Vegas Raiders versus the Miami Dolphins. Right now, the Lions at seven. I think they crept up at seven and a half, but it's back to seven. The Raiders and the Dolphins are in two situations this year. The Raiders are pretty much down and out eyeing their quarterback for next year's draft. Meanwhile, the Dolphins still have a chance to kind of run the table and then not only finish their division in second, but at least try to fight for a wild card spot. These two organizations are in two different directions. I do think the Dolphins need this game more than the Raiders need this game. So I do like the Dolphins to win this game outright. Don't know how I feel taking them as touchdown favorites. So this is going to be a part of the Green Bay Packers 
alt spread. I am taking the Dolphins from minus seven down to minus four. I do like the Dolphins to win and beat this Raiders team by at least a touchdown, but just from comfortability and getting these teaser parlays in, I do like the Dolphins at minus four. So I will be doing a parlay Packers minus two and a half and Dolphins minus four. LA Rams versus the New England Patriots. Right now, the line is at four and a half. It was at five. I think it went up to five and a half for a little bit, but then went down, but that went down to four and a half. To be honest, I do like the Rams to win this game outright. The Patriots have been very sneaky the past three games. They defeated the Jets and they defeated the Chicago Bears and they lost to the Tennessee Titans by three points. All three of them have pretty good defenses. They're going against the LA Rams that doesn't have good defense, just like those three teams that they faced. I do think that Drake May can have his moments against his Rams defense. I do think the Rams win outright, but I like Drake May's chance at home against his Rams defense. And I do think that this game could be a lot close. I think this could be like a 2017 kind of 20 to 17 kind of game at Foxborough. Give me the Patriots at plus four and a half. I think this could be a lot closer than what people think. Give me the Patriots at plus four and a half. Indianapolis Colts versus the New York Jets. Right now, the line is at four. I believe it started like around three, three and a half, but there's a lot of momentum going on the Jets side. I don't know if I feel comfortable choosing the Jets as four point favorites. I understand that the Colts are going to Anthony Richardson, but to go from Joe Flacco to Anthony Richardson, I guess there is some boom or bust play to Richardson style against his Jets defense. Um, I don't think that the Colts are going to lose to the Jets by more than four points. I think this will be a close game. Give me the Colts at plus four against the New York Jets. I think this will be a close game, but I don't know if I feel comfortable choosing the Jets as four-point favorites against any team this year. So give me the Colts at plus four. Cleveland Browns versus the New Orleans Saints. Give me the Browns at minus one. The, the At first, the Browns were at plus one. It flipped to minus one. I think there's a lot of action on the Browns right now. Give me the Browns minus one. I actually trust Jameis Winston to throw against the Saints pass defense. That's bottom five, bottom 10 in pass defense. It's pretty much the same level as the Ravens pass defense than I do with Derek Carr throwing on this Browns defense. So I do like the Browns to win this game outright. They would probably definitely win this game probably by at least a point so give me the browns minus one over the saints seattle seahawks versus the san francisco 49ers right now the line is at six and a half give me the 49ers at six and a half i don't have much faith in the seahawks team they can be a potential backdoor i can see this game being 20 to 30 and somehow Gino just goes down the field and they score a touchdown that could potentially happen but I think the 49ers really need to make a statement in this game that they not only should be divisional leaders but I think they need to prove a statement that they're getting healthy they're getting back for playoff time and need to kind of get their mindset ready so give me the 49ers at home give me the minus six and a half Atlanta Falcons versus the Denver Broncos. Right now, the line is at two. I think it went as high as two and a half, three. But give me the Denver Broncos at minus two. I like them as favorites at home. This Falcons team has looked really well against the Carolina Panthers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But when they have gone against at least a defense that had a pulse, They've either lost or they've won very closely. This Broncos defense is pretty much top 10 in damn near every single defensive category. I think they will probably stall the the Falcons offense. The uh, Bro Knicks looked really well against the Kansas City Chiefs, and I think you can have at least one passing touchdown and run and one rushing touchdown in this game. But I like the Broncos at home. I think their defense can at least stop the Falcons offense, and I think Bo Nick can cook a little bit in this game. Give me the Broncos minus two. Kansas City Chiefs versus the Buffalo Bills. Right now the line is at two. I like the Chiefs here. I like them as underdogs. I think they could pretend. They, I think they can win at Buffalo. I don't know if I like the plus two. I'm going to use this as my second teaser parlay. Give me the Chiefs from plus two to plus eight. If they lose to the Buffalo Bills, I doubt it is more than eight points at Buffalo. This is still an undefeated team, back-to-back -back Super Bowl champs. I doubt they're going to lose to Buffalo by more than eight points. Give me the Kansas City Chiefs from plus two to plus eight, and we're going to use this teaser parlay with another game later on. Cincinnati Bengals versus the LA Chargers. Right now, the line is at minus one. I think initially it was at one, but at Chargers, minus one and a half. Give me the LA Chargers at minus one and a half. I think they can beat this Bengals team by at least a field goal. The Bengals have not beaten a team over 500. The Chargers are a quality playoff team trying to fight for that playoff spot. And 
the Bengals have allowed more than 30 points per game against teams over 500. Justin Herbert has been cooking in the passing game. So I like LA Chargers in this game, minus one and a half to beat the Bengals. I don't trust the Bengals to be a team over 500 just yet until they do. Give me the opposite direction. Give me the Chargers minus one and a half. Last but not least, we have the Houston Texans versus the Dallas Cowboys. Right now, the line's at seven. This is going to be a part of our last teaser parlay. Give me the Houston Texans from minus seven down to minus one. I do think the Houston Texans win this game outright. No faith in this Cowboys team. They have Cooper Rush at quarterback. They have yet to win a home game. And I don't even think they've covered a spread at home. This team has not looked good. I think they've been one of the worst home teams statistically out of all NFL teams in 2024. I think the Texans team beat this team. I don't know if I feel comfortable choosing the touchdown favorite, but give me the Houston Texans minus one, and they are parlayed with the 49ers plus eight, and that is my last teaser parlay. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your week 11 NFL spread picks. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.